what degree is this amendment being driven by cleaning up the industry versus revenue generation for governments and, and creating you know, a tax base that we can tack it, uh, t uh, tap into and have the benefit of? Mike. Amanda really should carry the ball for this entire <laughs> session. This should be a one-person panel um, because I want to know that answer from her. Uh, so don't correct me, which I will require correction. But, um, well, it, you know, it's going to be between a billion and a billion and a half dollar industry. Um, it depends which estimates you, you uh, follow, and there's going to be a significant amount of tax um, dollars that are generated by that. So absolutely it's driven by uh, tax revenue, um, and it's going to have uh, a ripple effect through the entire system, the sports and entertainment system, and various parties will benefit in different ways. But um, a lot of that money will get funneled back into safe play and, and all of the um, measures that uh, are currently in place for horse racing um, and, and for other forms of gaming. So it, it will, I believe, be a, a, a safe environment and a well-managed environment, but it, certainly it's going to help the government coffers. So from a practical perspective, how would this impact on the businesses operated by Woodbine? Well, Woodbine is in a quite a unique position, and um, for those that you aren't aware, Woodbine um, operates uh, horse race tracks at, uh, at Woodbine in Rexdale and at Woodbine Mohawk Park, uh, which is the standard bred racing. Um, and horse racing is, is sort of uh, regulated in a very unique way. So um, Woodbine has the exclusive um, ability through regulation to operate horse racing in Ontario and by agreement through the rest of the provinces in Canada. So um, essentially Woodbine has a monopoly on horse racing. And the horse racing employs about 45,000 people throughout the country. So it's a very, very important industry. Um, the, it's, it's, an incredible, it's incredible to, to realize just how many people are, are employed within the racing industry. And for that reason, uh, when the government introduced the uh, single event sports wagering uh, bill uh, and ultimately law, it exempted racing from that. So the operators that are coming in that will be offering bets on every sport cannot offer bets on horse racing. Um, however, uh, they can if they do it in partnership with Woodbine. So what it, it's our stated policy to partner with uh, as many of these operators as we can to integrate horse racing into their platforms, but the transaction will still occur by Woodbine in the back end. So the benefit to Woodbine is um, it's going to expand the universe of players. It's going to the, the marketing dollars. Um, you're already seeing them start to flood in. Uh, if you any sporting event you watch, you'll see it. it the, the concentration of, of sports betting related ads is just significantly increased. Um, they're, they're going to drive new, new players. Um, customer acquisition is going to be the name of the game for the, at least the first couple of years. Um, and when you say customer acquisition, what do you mean exactly? So new, new player acquisition. So all of the, the new um, platforms that come in, whether it be DraftKings or FanDuel or Caesars or PointsBet, you know, uh, OLG, uh, they're all going to be fighting for market share. This is going to be a market share game. Um, and when the market settles out, I think there'll be... Uh, you know, between five and ten major players. Um, if you look at other jurisdictions around the world, usually that's where the market share settles in. You want to be one of those major ones. So everybody is going to be scrambling to get those players up front and to retain them. So there's going to be a, a massive amount of, of marketing dollars that are coming into the market. Um, and what we see is um, it's, it's going to introduce uh, sports gaming to a whole new subset of fans and we believe it's in our interest to have horse racing part of the suite of products that, that, they, uh, that they wager on. So we're going to be partnering the industry pretty aggressively.